Finally tonight, out of only 25 Hispanic players in the NFL, one of them is playing for us, the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's also the tallest guy on the team at 6'8". Dati takes you inside the Jags locker room to get to know more about number 85, Richard Angulo. He's 6'8 and a rising star in the world of professional football. Attributes you won't usually see coming out of his home state of New Mexico. It's not a big powerhouse for football. You know, I went to a, a small D2 school and that was so big, you know, and in New Mexico, everyone's short, and, you know what I mean? So it definitely helped me out, you know, so I think uh, at the same time of it not being a big school, it let me stand out a little more than maybe I would have. Inspired by his older brother who played high school football, Angulo picked up his first pigskin in the eighth grade. You know, I'm six years younger than him, so we didn't, you know, uh, get to play too much together. You know, he's so much bigger than me, but um, he started and I basically just followed in his footsteps. You know, I never really was a big fan of football or watched it a lot, but, you know, once I started playing, I really enjoyed it. And I went to uh, Division II school and... Um, I didn't go there expecting to play in the NFL, I just went there because I wanted to play football. During his six years in the NFL, it wasn't until his last two with the Jacksonville Jaguars that his career really started taking off. Injuries to fellow tight ends allowed Angulo to step up to the line of scrimmage and shine in the Jags' latest season, a season he says will not happen again in 09. Disappointing, you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, you know, like Jack always says, we're really trying hard and it just... For whatever reason, you know, this, this things weren't clicking and things don't click sometimes and, um, you know, that's how seasons go. You know, all we can do is just continue to play hard, you know, fight hard and, and just get better. Meanwhile, Angulo is taking his newfound attention the only way he knows how, with a shy smile. A trait teammates like Greg Estandia says is Angulo's true nature. Very good guy. He's quiet. You know, he, uh, you know, he only, what he says is important when he says it, you know, but uh, he's a great guy. But after finding out that he's on the short list of Hispanic NFL players, only 25 in the league, he was speechless. Along with Tony Romo, Jeff Garcia, you're one of the 25 Latinos in the NFL, which with all the players that there are in the NFL is not a lot, but does that give you a sense of pride or? Oh yeah, it definitely does. You know, when you said 25 earlier, it kind of surprised me, you know, it's, it's a short number for, you know, so many people, but yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely proud of that and, uh, you know, I just hope to represent my, my heritage well. Another trait this Mexican-American keeps real is his humble attitude about doing what he loves. My thing is, is I'm not going to be done playing football until they kick me off the field. This is Tati with Latino in the City. Now the Jaguar season may be over, but Angulo's spot on the team isn't. You can expect to see him at Jaguar training camp 2009, baby. Okay, mi gente, that wraps up another evening of Latino in the City. You can find us every Thursday night at 6.30 only on LATV and on the web at latinointhecity.com. And don't forget to check out past seasons of Latino in the City on our YouTube site. I'm your host, Kim Ortegas. Nos vemos, mi gente. Oh, you're going to do this like everyone Oh, this is big one. <laughs> Did you know that he's one of the 25 NFL football players that is Latino in the NFL? Am I one of those? No, that Richard is one of those. Oh, oh I'm right. not one of those? Uh, <laughs> You're, I mean, you should rep it a little bit more because uh, we didn't know if you were Latin or not. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs>